What's going on guys? Back for a second. A second little thing. So I'm riding the F07. So guys, this is the bike I was going to get before I got the Vulcan. But of course I changed it. And everything looks fine. It looked like it was dropped. That sucks. So guys, we're going to jump on. We're going to go for a ride. We're going to have some fun. Alright guys, we're going to get ready to go. That sounds amazing. Uh, man, I see why I would have got this bike. That seat's really uncomfy though. I'm kind of jaded. So this feels a lot different than what I'm used to. A lot different. Grand Caravan, why in the fuck are you slowing down? The fucking handlebars feel so small. It's really flickable. That's kind of why we go onto the Waverly Road to see. So, okay. I've ridden this bike before. It was before I had my cruiser. I really loved this bike when I first when I first rode it. I'm not a big fan of it now. I'm not a big fan of the way it feels. The seat's really uncomfy. You really, well, you're not really sit forward because of course that's the type of bike it is. You sit up straight, but it just, it feels like if you hit a bump, the way that you, you put weight on it, it feels like, like the front end's gonna fall off on you. I don't know if it's just this bike because it's been like a test drive for X amount of miles or whatever, but that's just the way it feels to me. Like if I feel like I put pressure on the front and I hit a bump, that's it, my wheel's going out. And it's not a really big confidence booster either. I don't like this bike and I like it. I have a hate-love relationship with it. I love it because it's different from my Vulcan. It has the sportier feel. It has the really the giddy up and go power. But I hate it because everything I've mentioned so far. Neat position, it's pretty good. It has a nice little like insert on the, uh, on the tank itself. I don't really feel comfortable leaning over on this. And like I said before, the handlebars are so small, like they hurt. They hurt to grab, which is not good. So highway obviously feels good. Cut it out of the video because no one wants to see highway. All you hear is wind noise. But obviously it feels amazing on the highway. It feels at home. Kick it and I was in fifth, going about 100 and, I don't know, like 110 maybe, less. But I mean, of course, that's really high for this bike. So like high uh, gear for that ratio. Because really, I could probably, I'm probably, well, I'm in third. I'm in third gear and I'm going 60. And I'm at four, 4,000 RPM. So you guys can be the judge of that. But it doesn't feel comfy to sit back. Don't get me wrong, man. Remember, this was the bike that I was going to get. So I can't really speak ill. Obviously, I saw something in it that I loved. Maybe it was the speed aspect. Maybe that was something that I was interested in. Because obviously, remember, I was rocking a 250. But yeah, it, it feels... It's so different. Like, I think I have my need for speed on my Vulcan, though, because obviously that thing's a beast, man. It's not tuned like a sports bike, granted, but it will do what you need it to do. And instead of the, uh, the quote, drop a gear and disappear, it's shift up, insert quote there. <laughs> shift up, make them hear, because our bike's loud. I'm just, <laughs> you can tell I'm just sitting here thinking about what the fuck that would be. And there's one thing I noticed about this bike, it's really jerky. Like with most bikes, you would have that little reprieval. Like when you like watch, if I throw it on, throw it off, it kind of, uh, it doesn't, it's not this gradual, like, uh, it's uh, like, it just cuts off. Like all the power just goes away, which isn't that good, especially if you're new, new rider, you're not used to the, uh, the flow of the bike yet. The choppiness can really, really sway your, uh, your confidence. These people must be really upset because they're always hearing bikes fly by here. And these mirrors are actually god awful terrible. I'm having a hard time seeing my surroundings and I did fix them to the best of my ability. Like I can see the, the scooter behind me, but on this mirror, it's mostly myself and I can't adjust it much more than that. So I could see in like the far right lane if I was ever merging into traffic or something. But, oh, my dick's, my dick's numb. Fantastic. Just what I want, my dick to be numb. Mm, like she will get up and go. She will get in your face, yell at you, and then take off. That's what this bike can do. Oh, seriously, my hands and my dick are going numb. That's not a good feeling. That's actually a bad feeling. Oh, and my butt hurts. So again, if I was ever to buy this bike, new seat, right off the bat, I would put uh, a windshield on it, like a wind fairing or something. Uh, change the handlebars out, maybe go with like a thicker grip or something. Uh, yeah, new seat, maybe new pegs, because these pegs aren't that great either. But again, I am wearing riding boots, which is obviously different. 
than normal wearing shoes, like just normal shoes. Which I think I would wear. If I was, if I was ever, if I did buy this bike, I'd probably end up wearing shoes all day. Because the boots just don't feel at home on this bike. Oh, seriously, my hand's going numb. I'm just gonna speed up, hold the clutch, rest hand. Oh my God. So obviously positives and negatives with this bike, I've already kind of gone over, but I will just reiterate. Uh, positives, awesome, awesome speed. It looks awesome. Uh, good mileage, I guess, I'm assuming, because I mean, it has an eco. It has a bunch of different uh, modes and stuff. So right now I'm on eco, probably to save some money on the gas or something for these guys. And I don't know if there's ABS on it. I don't think so. So I don't think that's even an option for this bike. But when I bought it, it was about $7,000 Canadian. $699, $99, whatever. So $7,000 for 698cc, I think it is, which isn't bad. It's basically a $1,000 for, er, for 100ccs, which is actually kind of like a normal ratio when you think about it. Normally, well, okay, no, I can't say that because like the R6 is like thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars for six hundred, which obviously that ratio is a little wee bit different. I mean, this thing can probably pop a wheelie, but this is not my bike. I don't want to try it because I don't want to be asked never to come back. Because if they see a wheelie, that's essentially what would happen. These are test bikes; they don't want to get them fucked up or nothing. Plus, if you crash it, you got to buy it anyways. So. If you ever, 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 ever want to buy a bike and your parents, girlfriend, whatever, husband, say no, just go on a test drive and just drop it. Oh, I damaged it, which means, oh, I'm sorry, baby, I had to buy it. <laughs> and that is how you get past that shit. Although, P.S., I wouldn't advise doing that. Because, one, you got to pay for getting the bike fixed, so you actually have to pay out. Your insurance gets dinged, and I don't know if you can actually buy it. I think that's what it is. They say you drop it, you buy it. It's probably you drop it, you fix it. I don't know if they'd actually make you keep, you know, the whole thing. But that wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. We got a runner, ladies and gentlemen. We got a runner. We got a runner. Oh, baby. Hey, girl, how you like my FZ07? You know you want to get on the back. We can go to wheelies and stoppies and all that shit. We can do donuts. And by donuts, I mean we go to Tim Hortons and get donuts. <laughs> ah, fat kids. Fat kids get the best, I'm telling you. Skinny people are like, nah, 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 nah. I can't eat that shit. That's bad for me. Fat kids, oh, you better give me the whole fucking pack. You better put some extra chocolate topping on that shit. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Exactly. Shout out to all the fat kids out there. I got your back. We represent now. Oh, my bum is numb, my bum is numb, my bum is numb. I miss my Vulcan. My bum is numb, my bum is numb, my bum is numb. I miss my Vulcan. All right, kick it up the fourth. Let's go. Merging. Oh, but, but yeah, guys, on the highway, this thing rips. It'd be sore as fuck trying to take this on a trip, though, but you'd be able to go, that's for sure. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Thank you. I don't believe in God, but thank you, whoever controls the weather. Buddha. <laughs> Anybody, Zeus. Well, that's a divot. So, I mean, this thing is, isn't really that clickable. I mean, I'm not really leaning it, but on my Vulcan, if I did that, I'd be weaving. Which is good on the Vulcan side. Let's see. Yeah, I can catch up. It can catch up pretty quick. Remember, guys, I'm only in fourth as well, so... That whistling's gonna piss me off. You know, it's a $500 helmet, you think it wouldn't whistle. But apparently it does, especially if you turn your head. Like it hits that air vent and that's it. The only thing I don't like is look at the fucking, look at the flashers, man. They're flapping around. They don't give a shit. My back ones are probably doing that too. Yeah, like it's fine to be opened up, but again, that choppiness that I mentioned earlier, like you can really see it, watch. See? On, off. On, watch. Off. Like you, you really feel it, it's really weird. First row problems with glasses, ladies and gentlemen, and they fall down. There's an 18-wheeler coming up behind me. That makes me very nervous. The guy in the front of me was like, he looked over, looked at the thing, and just went, eh, kind of over onto the lane. <laughs> Doesn't have none of that. I don't blame him. I see an 18-wheeler, man. I poop. 
Man, friend's hand's getting sore. That's a really bad idea to do, buddy. If you're gonna do that, accelerate, hold the clutch, and then take your hand off. Don't use your other hand to do that. That's very dangerous. He basically did this and did that and took this hand off. You don't do that. That's really, really dangerous. That's how shit can go south really quickly. Because if you hit a bump, all your weight's on that hand, and you're gonna you're gonna tip, and you're done. That's it. So if you guys, also for you guys, if you're doing it, accelerate, clutch in, then do it. And then go back. Very, very bad idea. All right guys, so we're getting off on the highway now. We're heading back in. Um, so overall, I mean, I really did like this bike. Me, nah, not so much now. I would probably go with a different kind of bike. But uh, if you guys are looking for a good, relatively cheap motorcycle, that will get you from point A to point Z pretty fucking quickly. This is that bike. Seriously, I have nothing, nothing really terribly bad to say about it. Again, mirrors, seat, front, kinda, kinda iffy on my part, but really, other than that, there's nothing really wrong with it at all. If anything, I'd highly recommend this bike. For beginners, probably not. I wouldn't recommend this as a beginner bike, because again, you get that choppiness and that can really get you in some trouble. Get down, engine braking. Engine braking on this bike actually feels really good. It'll slow you down in a pinch, which is awesome. Say watch, I'm going 39. Feels good. Oh my God. Oh Christ. My junk is numb. Right here, this thing fucking wrecks your crotch. Fuck me. And this is so uncomfy. Once your butt hits this spot, and in between here, it's where my base of my back was. Oh, fuck. So overall, guys, awesome bike. I'm not going to give it a score to 10, because that's just stupid. But if you guys want to check it out, I would have this just checking it out. And Dale is doing the same thing I'm doing. I miss my Vulcan, man. Someone dropped that. I know. Someone dropped it, I know. But guys, again, my name is Senior S. I thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like. There are other first ride bikes coming. Or first, yeah, first ride bikes coming. Again, subscribe so you guys can stay.